So, talk around the tavern, B, that there's a load of fresh-faced new swabbies on their way from parts and ports unknown to our humble Sea of Thieves. Well, if it not be you, allow me to be the first to welcome ye. I'd be more than glad to show the lot of ye the ropes and offer ye some advice. Ye surely won't be getting no place else. Firstly, afore ye ever even set sail, ye'll want to head on over to the Pirate Emporium and buy yourself the biggest, flashiest ship livery ye can find. The glowier, the better. Other pirates will see on the horizon and know to steer clear. Once you got your ship's look settled, feel free to weigh anchor and set sail straight away. There'll be plenty of opportunities to grab supplies out on the waves. No need to stock up prior to your voyage. Now, there'll be a few things a note here on your ship to pay proper attention to while you sail. First off being, of course, your sails. Now, the more slack you leave in them, the more wind they can catch, which of course means your ship will move faster. I tend to leave mine round about half furled, but you're welcome to find a place that works for you. Next up, you'll want to pick out a flag for yourself. Something what simply screams, Big Bad Pirate. It might I suggest, none other than the Reaper's Mark. Not only does it be a great design, but it also serves as a beacon of friendship and camaraderie out on the waves. Anyone what sees ye fly in this flag will know from the onset that ye be a merry crew, looking for fun and adventure. If in ye be desperate for friends, however, ye can always vote on yonder hourglass of friendship to cue yourself up for some rousing social interactions and good times for all. Just leave it active and go about your business. You'll know when the friendship starts. Now, since you've got your methods for making new friends good and settled, let's look at some methods with which you can line your pockets. Like, say, sailing towards one of them glowing clouds in the sky. Ain't nothing ever gone wrong from sailing towards a glowing cloud in the sky. Or perhaps you'd rather go out and do one of the many voyages available to you. Sure enough! Those be an excellent way to earn yourself some coin. Just make sure you drop anchor at the island so's your ship don't sail off without you. Regardless of what method you take, there be one piece of advice that be more important than any other. Stack your loot. You can gather a vast array of treasures for all the different trading companies, and theoretically there be no end to how much you can hoard. And seeing as your swabs will have a long path to go before you reach pirate legend, you best be gathering as much of it as you possibly can before you go to sell. Besides, which be the more satisfying tale to tell when you hang your hats and retire to the tavern for the night? Um. Uh, I I saw three castaway chests and, and a fruit crate. I have relinquished a grand total of five chests of legends, fourteen chests of ancient tribute, thirty-seven captain's chests, fifty-seven bounty skulls, thirty merchant crates, and an ashen wind skull. Ha <laughs> ha! Anywho, while we're on the topic of massive loot halls, there do be one way to get one for yourself that most other pirates won't tell ye. And I need you to come in close for this one, as it be something of a secret. If in ye be out on the waves, and ye see a great big megalodon, with skin as white as the clouds above, and a fin as red as blood, I cannot stress to ye enough how important it is that you don't kill it. 
Don't even hurt it. Not me the shrouded ghost. A friend of pirates everywhere. Many deny its existence, but them who have seen it know. If in you leave it alone, it'll return to you later with a massive gathering of treasure as payment for your kindness. So again, I says to you, if in you see a massive white shark, do not be killing it. Understood? Do not kill the shrouded ghost. Now that we got the big ones out of the way, let's touch on some quick and easy tips to ensure that your sailing be smooth on all your voyages. If in ye find any powder kegs, make sure you keep them safely inside your ship's hold. That way they can't be shot from afar. Ye can sail any size of ship, regardless of whether or not ye got a crew. So feel free to solo a galleon if you like, seeing as it has the most cannons, and it'd be the toughest ship to sink. But if and ye do have a crew, make certain you stand out on your bowsprit and strike a pose. Doing so will inspire a sense of awe and respect amongst your crewmates. Especially so if and ye stay there for extended periods of time. And don't move a muscle. If in ye be at the shops and you can't decide just what you want to wear, might I suggest the Ocean Crawler outfit. Looking spiffy there, matey. <laughs> when it comes time for ye to pick a name for your ship, you'll want to choose something will be striking fear into your enemies. The more serious her, the better. You could call your ship the Hand of Destruction, the Vessel of Doom, the Angle of Death, the Devil's Gun. Or if in ye feel especially original, ye could just call it the Black Pearl. I promise ye, ain't nobody done that one for. If ye be doing a fort and ye see another ship on the horizon, fret not. They likely just want to ally themselves to ye. After all, ye ain't even finished the damn thing. What could I possibly be coming to steal? In a similar vein of thinking, don't bother leaving nobody as a lookout if in ye go diving into the sunken kingdom. Pirates tend not to bother ships that we can see be doing them. Additionally, if in ye see any merfolk in the water what ain't your own, don't get your timbers all shivered. Them's mermaids be a friendly folk would love to pop up and say ahoy is all. And with that, we've covered all the advice I've got to give ye. Well, Aside from one bit, one single, crucial, incredibly important piece of advice, which stands out higher than anything else I've said here, so listen well. The single most important piece of advice that ye can learn on the Sea of Thieves be... Never trust a pirate. Yeah! <laughs>